One of these jars is filled with a tasty juice. The other is filled with a nasty surprise that was scooped right out of Lake Erie. Can you guess which one? Let me give you some clues by explaining what's going on in the lake. The western end of our Great Lake is covered with a big algal bloom. While bloom might sound pretty, it really means a huge amount of algae that just keeps growing and growing and growing. Now, algae are pretty simple water plants. Some might look more like seaweed, but others, like what's in our lake, look kind of like blobs of blue and green. They don't need too much to grow into big happy blobs, just some light to use for photosynthesis and some nutrients from the water. But what's been going on in our lake is not so great. The algae have found such a yummy environment that they are growing out of control into a harmful algal bloom. Now, a harmful bloom can suck up all the oxygen in the water and smother wildlife, block out light from getting to anything else that's in the water, and release toxins that can make the water unsafe to drink. That's a pretty big concern since plenty of people rely on Lake Erie for their drinking water. So what exactly are these tiny green plants finding so delicious in Lake Erie? It's mainly phosphorus and nitrogen that gets into the water. It comes from fertilizers that farms use to grow big crops or that we use at home to make our grass soft and green. These chemicals eventually run off into the lake and the water plants gobble it up. Add warmer waters from climate change and these plants can grow into monsters. Of course, we're not alone in experiencing algal blooms. Texas and Florida deal with them too. And in California, the algal blooms are a different species and turn the water ruddy. People there call it the red tide. Yuck! In 2014, the algal bloom on Lake Erie leached so many toxins into the water that Toledo was forced to shut off its water. This year's bloom on Lake Erie is being monitored carefully by researchers at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. They've been watching on the ground and from space to make sure that the algal bloom doesn't make the drinking water for Toledo and other Northwest cities too toxic to drink. But I think I'm just gonna stick to my smoothie anyways.